They thought it was beer, but their bones told another story. In 1974, a team of scientists in a lab in Detroit placed a Nubian bone under an X-ray scanner. The bone was over 1,600 years old, dug from the sands of ancient Sudan, once part of the Kingdom of Kush. What lit up on their screen stunned them. Traces of tetracycline, a powerful antibiotic. Not just once, every single adult skeleton they tested carried it. But how? The answer fermented in clay jars. Back in the 4th century, Kushite brewers were crafting a thick, sour beer from grain, and without realizing it, they'd cultured Streptomyces, a soil-dwelling bacterium that naturally produces tetracycline. Every sip of beer wasn't just a buzz, it was medicine. This wasn't a fluke, it was consistent, widespread, likely passed down as tradition. And it meant that long before modern labs, a civilization had stumbled onto antimicrobial therapy in their kitchens. The first widespread use of antibiotics wasn't 20th century science. It was 4th century tradition. If ancient brewers could beat infections by accident, what other lost knowledge is hiding in plain sight? Follow for more stories where history meets modern medicine.